Well, I'm here at the Fiber Conference, and I'm sitting down with James Olson, who's at the University of British Columbia, and he's also with the Green Fiber Network. James gave a fascinating uh, lecture this morning that has the delegation here uh, a buzz. Um, he's he's worked on a project that is blending art and research together. So can you elaborate on, on your project? Sure. So uh, when we started with the Green Fiber Network, we really felt that we were challenged to create new products. And what we recognized initially is that universities are not very good at creating new products. We're great at scientific discovery, we're great at knowledge development, but new products really is a stretch for what a university professor would normally do. So what we, what we did first is we tried to reach out to the people we thought were natural innovators, people who innovated all the time, and it turns out that those are really the, the artists and the industrial designers and the architects who are in our community. Th those are the guys who are really innovate. So we brought them together with the material scientists and the engineers, and uh, one of the concepts that came out of that blend of art and engineering is this concept of uh, origami engineering. So origami engineering um, is really where we're trying to take two-dimensional paper fiber structures and find an automatic way of converting them or folding them into uh, very complex, arbitrary, uh, three-dimensional structures. And have you had some su success with that? Yeah, it was great. We actually uh, gave this technical challenge to a very bright group of young uh, undergraduate engineering student, in, uh, engineering physics undergraduate students. And uh, you know, we had all ideas around robots folding paper, but they came back with what was a very simple, really brilliant concept of using. Uh, uh, an automatic cutting machine like you'd find for scrapbooking mm -hmm. that would actually cut and crease the paper and then they bonded a, a very simple film of polymer on it that would fold the uh, paper when it was heat treated across the creases so you could locate where that fold was going to go and you could make all of the folds simultaneously so we now have a very flat structure that when we add heat to it it folds up in an extremely complex way to build up into a 3D structure. So it's, it's activating a two-dimensional in Right, into it three. ships flat mm -hmm. and then you know, almost magically it, it looks like when you add heat, right. the whole thing just folds up into a, a 3D structure. Great. And what we've been doing then is we've been working with the artists, mm -hmm. and especially Molo Design, who's mm -hmm. moved, have a long history of uh, making advanced paper products for okay. furnishings and decorations, and decorations, etc. And they're We've located been, in Vancouver. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So it's a small company in Vancouver who do really outstanding things. And so we've been working with them to try and come up with designs that we think would be a blend of both art and science to, to, to uh, make different products with, uh, with, uh, with our fiber, absolutely. Right, with Canadian yeah. wood fibers. Yep, so we, we can see a time where you know, mm -hmm. these, these get formed in everything, everything from packaging to uh, wall decorations to uh, you know, sort of auto foldings, lampshades. Uh, we think that it's really, un really uh, unlimited. And with the, with the other networks here at this conference, uh, I, I've seen several talking to you about possible cross collaborations from your presentations. So oh yeah, absolutely. There's all, it seems like there's all sorts of there's been new chemistry that people have been talking about mm -hmm. to do the folding. So right now we use heat mm -hmm. uh, activated folding. There may be other ways, you know, light or sound activated uh, polymers, for example, that that would be very interesting to use. Um, there might be other applications in some of the biosensing mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. that people have been showing here. So I think there's there's lots of applications. So it's really a whole new. Uh, technology platform for making new products. Well, thanks for sharing your successes. Oh, you're very welcome. And uh, best of luck. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thanks. Great.